Hello, hello. Welcome to Wednesday night. Father, we thank you for your word. Mm, your word is so good. It's delicioso. Amen. We're going to talk about tonight something that we should all know. But you know, being a Bible teacher, the Lord will have you say it in a certain way. And it'll be like, well, I never thought of it that way. It's people thinking in the right direction that way. We're going to talk about how to be happy, how to love your life. You ever had, you ever been in a place as well? Uh, my life is the whatever, but it's not necessarily filling the blank with a, something bad, but you can, you can love your life. If you want to love your life and see good days and, uh, the, the Bible tells you in one verse, how to do that. Of course, there's a lot of them that correspond together, but uh, it'll get you thinking in the right direction. If you have uh, 1 Peter chapter 2 in verse 10, I'm going to be reading it out of two different versions. I use a King James for my notebook. They uh, say, how do you not have a notebook and notes? I said, well, I do. I just use the Bible for it. <laughs> that's That's how... It is. I take notes too and write them on a tablet and stuff. And even sticky notes. But 1 Peter chapter 3. And we're going to be talking about how to love your life. There's ever a tossing. Oh, I hate this. I hate uh Well, the Bible doesn't say it. You can change that. You can change it. Uh, but he that will love his life and see good days... Not just a day, but days. You know, days turns into weeks, and weeks turn into months, and months turn into years. Let him refrain, that means stop, his tongue from evil. So you, so what would be evil? If you're speaking anything else over person, place, or thing other than faith, you're actually speaking evil. You're actually cursing yourself when you do that and everybody else around you. Uh, you may not realize that. Well, tonight the lights are on and uh, in your life. And for he that will love his life and see good days, let him. I'm praying to God it would change. You don't say that. <laughs> you don't say that. Let him reframe his tongue from evil. See, most people's praying about the problem all the time and magnifying it. You can't be talking about your problems 24 hours a day and never even talk about the blessing and expect the blessing to work in your life because it won't. Reframe your tongue or stop evil and his lips and they will speak no guile. See, you speak build-up words instead of tear-down words. I mean, you have to say some little something about person, place, or thing, but, you know, just so they'll know what you're going to pray. But don't go on and on about it. I stop right in the middle of a sentence sometimes and say, well, I don't want to say too much because, you know, people do repent and people change, and we all say amen. Then we just pray for them. Ephesians, the first chapter, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ will give unto them, we call them by name, spirit of wisdom and revelation knowledge of Jesus, that the eyes of their understanding are enlightened and they'll know what the hope of their calling is, an exceedingly great power that works on the inside of them. A whole lot better than saying too much, you know, in the negative. Now, take those thoughts, how to love your life and see good days, and then crack your tablet open or your, or your uh, device. We're going to look up the New Living Translation. And it breaks it down really good, too. And that is 1 Peter. You know, uh, I, I used to, you know, wonder, people wonder, well, how do you, how are you so happy? How are you, no matter what's going on, you just seem to hit jump, hop, and skip. How do you do that? Well, I'm telling you right now. I had to learn like everybody else, and there's one time I didn't learn, so uh, God had Peter write me a letter. <laughs> Amen. In First Peter, in chapter 3, 
and in verse 10. It's First Peter. You got a Bible or a device, phone, or take a middle note of it. First Peter chapter three and verse ten. If you want to see, verse ten. If you want to enjoy your life and see many happy days, we all want to enjoy our life. It has nothing to do with the circumstances of life. And, and see many days, keep your tongue from speaking evil and your lips from telling lies. Amen. Amen. So we're going to look at, you know, what some lies, what the problem is, is you ever notice the devil don't tell you if you're believing a religious lie? <laughs> Maybe you're trying to relate to God and you're against faith. That's a religious lie. Well, I can just rub ropes, put dimes in a box, light candles, tap my head on the ground and do this, you know, up and down. That's a religious lie. It's not holiness. That's not holy. That's a religious lie. Holiness is a gift. See? Well, if I change my clothes and I don't do this and I don't do that and I don't do this and I don't do this, all you have to do is one thing. <laughs> Isn't that something? People slobber on it, spit around it, talk about it, and they still don't do the one thing. All you have to do is one thing to be pleasing to God. Hebrews 11.6 it's impossible to please God without religion. No, without faith. Okay, so anything that you're speaking, person, place, or thing that you're talking to or about or over that is not faith, what the Bible says over that situation, then you're actually participating with evil. Oh, I didn't think I'm getting away man's on that. You mean when I call this or that stupid or I call it dumb or I call it ignorant or I hate it or whatever, or that irritates me or I'm worried. That's, you're actually speaking evil because the Bible says he tells you in black and white. You want to see, you want to enjoy your life? Yeah, everybody raise your hand. And see many happy days. No, oh, happy days. Then you got to do something. I'm praying to God I have a good day. I'm a praying to God I enjoy my life. I'm a praying to God. They don't say that. That's religious rhetoric. It's useless. No, you have to make a life change. The way you make a life change, keep your tongue from speaking evil. What would speak in evil? Anything that you're not talking faith over is speaking evil. God's not complicated. The Bible's not complicated. You want to see good days and enjoy your life? Quit saying you got a bummed out life. Start saying, I'm in the perfect will of God. <laughs> Start saying glory, ha, ha, ha. Saturday, the glory, ha, ha, ha girl is going to be here. Amen. We'll have a good time. Keep your tongue from speaking evil. And your lips from telling lies. Well, what would a lie be? You could say, you know what? God don't love me, you're speaking a lie. God don't care about me, you're speaking a lie. If God wanted me healed, He'd already did it. He already did over 2,000 years ago. So you're talking yourself out of it instead of talking yourself into it because you're believing a lie, thinking it's true because you've heard religious people say that. Goofy stuff like that. If God wanted me uh, to have any money, he'd just rain down some money and give it to me. Well, the Bible don't say that, though. See, you're believing a lie. The Bible says, so you shall reap money, whatever it is you're sowing. So if you're sowing lies, 
then you're going to start believing more and more and more lies and it'd be like a, a fence built around you. You won't be able to get out of it. So you have to stop. And you have to start enjoying your life and see many happy days and keep your tongue from speaking evil. How do you do it? How do you do it? And quit telling lies. That means you're agreeing with lies. See, what happens is, is if most people, if you was to say, you believe God can heal you, they say yes, because you know that's a lie. That's a lie. See, most people believe God can do something. That's a lie. Boy, that sounds right, don't it? It's a lie. Because He's already done it. <laughs> he's already provided salvation for you. He's already provided you being filled with the Holy Spirit. He's already provided financial prosperity for you. He's already provided healing for you. He's already provided person, place, or th thing to be healthy, wealthy, and wise for you. So if you believe you're striving or trying to get that, you're living a lie. It's all it's going to produce death. It's all it's going to do. And even, even by some mystical thing that some wild out evangelist or something, which is good. Maybe you get healed through somebody else. You know what's going to happen? You'll lose it. Why? Because you'll still talk the same way. If you still talk negative and talk, and talk sickness before you got sick, and then when you got healed, if you start talking it again, guess what? It'll come back on you. The Bible says that. See? And it says, uh, this affliction shall not arise a second time. That's what you need to be saying. And so, because it will try to rise its ugly head, but you say no. So let's look at it one more time. What's your version say? Might as well get it from different angles. You can look under Bible Gateway and see how it reads there in several different translations too. But uh, I really like I like both of them. But I, I really it kind of brings out a little bit better in First Peter chapter three and in verse. 10. I don't know why she thinks I'm not going to have her read something because she sets the Bible down after it. I get, she thinks I'm going to stop and I have her read he something. He who loves life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. Let him turn away from evil and do good. Let him speak peace and pursue it. But it evil. Just verse 10. Huh? Just verse 10. Oh, okay. And uh, to read that last part again in verse 10. Last in, sentence. In his lips from speaking deceit. Deceit. Yeah. So if you're speaking religion and not faith. Deceit is short for deceived. You're deceived. You see, you, you're not deceived on purpose. <laughs> you come by it honestly, because they, they say, I didn't do the statistics, but uh, there's a guy, he did a bunch of Bible statistics. He said 99.9%, .9 that's a lot, <laughs> uh, of the body of Christ that call themselves faith people, which are all supposed to be, are speaking something else either than faith. Why? Because you can even know what faith is and still not get it to work just by knowing it. Then you can even know how it works and still not get it to work. The third one, you can know what it is, how to work it, but you still have to work it. You still have to say it. The scripture, present tense. Then it will work. Amen. We got the easy part. We don't have to bring it to pass. Oh, we got to do speak the word no matter what. Person, place, or thing. So we don't want to father tonight. We make any kind of adjustments to people over the internet too. Go ahead and pray with me that uh, we make adjustments that we speak present tense faith over person, place, or thing. No matter if something good happens or something bad happens, it don't matter. We know your will is your word, which is the Bible, and we speak your word. Amen.
had somebody say, well, how come there's so much flack about uh, somebody speaking faith? Because we have an adversary, the devil, that knows when you speak faith, there's nothing he can do about it. That if he can keep you talking religious rhetoric and begging God and all kind of goofy stuff that's not even in the Bible, he'll whip you every time. But if you just stay in the faith realm, Bible realm, word realm, and get you some faith friends, and uh, don't get mad at them when they correct you all the time. <laughs> it saved your life. It saved other people's lives too around you. Amen. So today, just start your, use your faith right now. If you never have, just use your faith right now and just say, Lord Jesus, I make you my Lord and my Savior right now. In Jesus' name, amen. The Bible says all those who call the name of the Lord shall be saved. You can take the next step too and just say, I'm born of the Spirit. Now I want to be filled with the Spirit, with the evidence of speaking in tongues. There the Holy Spirit is right there. He's everywhere. Just yield to Him and you start speaking in tongues. Show. In Jesus' name. And now you are the healed. I'm not going to be healed. I am the healed. I'm not a person that's sick trying to get healed. No. We are the healed resisting sickness. See the difference? That's faith talk. That's what the Bible says in Isaiah 53, 5. By stripes, you are healed. In 1 Peter 2, 24, by stripes, you were healed. So if you were healed, then you are healed. Matthew 8, 17. Himself, Jesus, took our infirmities, bore our sicknesses, and by his stripes, you are healed. Amen. Be financially blessed. Do what the Bible says. Sow a seed. Down below there, do it on PayPal or mail it to 918 North Griffin, Oak Boggy, Oklahoma. 74447 is the zip code. You'll be glad you did. We get testimonies all the time. Uh, we got a, uh, even the dog cares about the animals. We went the other day to get uh, two big old sacks of dog food, and it was cheaper than it normally was on sale. Praise God. So God cares about everything, but. All that happened because the person is a tither, a sower, a giver. So let's read it one more time before we close today. In 1 Peter chapter 3 and verse 10. If you want to see, if you want to enjoy your life, it's a question. Do you want to enjoy your life? Yeah. And see many happy days. You want to see that? Yeah. Well, then you do this. Keep your mouth Watch your mouth. <laughs> you really want what's coming out of your mouth? No, you don't. You want to speak the faith out of your mouth. That's what you got. From speaking evil, you got to do that. Oh, my mouth just says all kind of crazy stuff. Well, you're the one motivating it, so quit it. If you feel if you fill your heart and mouth with the Word of God, you'll start speaking that Word of God and start getting Bible results. And keep your lips from telling lies. What's a lie? Oh, I'm sick. Bible don't work. Can't get it to work. You're believing a lie. You show me someone that believing is wrong, I'll show you someone that their talking is wrong. And if their talking is wrong, their mind never has been renewed by the Word of God. They're actually talking and speaking evil over themselves and other people. Oh, I'm just telling it like it is. No, the Bible is telling it like it is. You're telling it like you think it is, like you're seeing with your five senses. Well, you'll come up on a short end of the stick and lose the stick if you keep doing like that. So you start doing what the Bible says, and you'll be glad you did. Get Bible results. Say with the Bible. You got to stick your nose in that book. Don't come out. Amen. Have a good one. Have a great one. Don't get off balance. Balance. Faith is a balanced place and a safe place. You'll love it. Have a good one. Have a great one. God bless.